Losers are everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. All right, we see them all the time. And today on Relationship SOS, a viewer has a question about a loser. It goes as follows. My best friend has a total loser for a boyfriend. He treats her absolutely awful. A bunch of her girlfriends want to get together and do an intervention so we can tell her what we've seen him do to her and that he is hurting her. Do you have any advice about how we should handle this? Wow, wow, wow. That would be a great reality show. Hey? Boyfriend loser intervention. Loser boyfriend loser intervention. Boyfriend intervention. Oh, yeah, oh man, good. I would Look, love could that. Could you do the opposite? Loser girlfriend intervention? No, there are no loser girlfriends. There are only loser boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, there are a few. I think that would just be. But yeah, that, it'd be fun. It'd be fun. Yeah, you know it. Can I steal that idea? It's good. It's yours. All You're right, right with it. sweet. You know, do, you know the story of Romeo and Juliet, right? Why do these two get together? Star-crest lovers. Families hate each other. Yeah. Nobody wants them to be together. So what happens? Man. Brings them all. It's you and me against the world, baby, right? Mm -hmm. It's that sort of reinforcing. What's it, Bonnie and Clyde? You, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that, yeah. <laughs> the tragic a little more situation. violent, but if you want to go there, both tragic yeah. situations. Both tragic, Isn't you're right. Both, yeah. both tragic to the bloodshed end. and all that kind of stuff. Sad. But, uh, you know, what's happening when you have an intervention, and I get why the girls want to do this, I totally am on their side, but when you do something like that, one of two things is going to happen. Either it's going to be totally ineffective, or it's going to have the opposite effect. Because if you're out for dinner, let's say, and the guy slaps the waitress's butt or something, and you're like, oh, and you jump down the guy's throat, and oh, how can he treat you like that, and yada, 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 then all of a sudden, what's your girlfriend going to do? She's going to rush to his defense. Mm -hmm. Well, he just, you don't know him, he's different, and he just acts like that around you fun. guys, whatever, he's nervous. Yeah, yeah. But what are you doing? You're making that relationship inadvertently stronger oh, because okay. she's rushing to his defense. So you have to be a little bit smarter about it. You have to just kind of let that moment go and just kind of let your girlfriend know, okay, we saw that, but we're going to let it go and whatever. Kind of cover for her. And then when she goes home, hopefully with any luck, she's going to attack this guy a little bit and just say, you know, you made, that was embarrassing. You made me look like a fool in front of my girlfriends. That was humiliating. How could you do that? What if she doesn't? Then it's the two of them. Well, that's all you can do. I mean, that's the best you can hope so for. So you can because never intervene. You can't. Love wow. is dead, you know, deaf, mm. dumb, and blind, right? It mm. really is. The best you can do instead of alienating your girlfriend and saying, that's it, we can't have you, we hate this guy so much, we can't have you over because we can't see this, whatever. You can't do that kind of stuff. It's not going to work. You know, <clears throat> the whole basis for the reality show intervention uh -huh. has just been trashed by you. you I do know. All time. I know. She's not a fan of the show intervention. One pilot only. <laughs> One pilot. All right. Well, thank you very much. There you have it. When it comes to interventions in relationships, stay out of it. We'll see you next time on Relationship SOS.